Hello there, Criterion 8 here. Welcome back to the small back room in my house where I do all these weird little reviews for a living. Not really a living, Lord knows, you know. All the living stuff is all the stuff, reason why I haven't been doing reviews, or it's been a while, you know. I haven't been doing them as often as I could because of jobs and stuff like that. And so, yeah, I've been pretty busy at work, and so. Yeah, that's why I haven't been able to, you know, keep a steady schedule. Um, but uh, I'm here today, and we're going to do a little something, uh, whatever the number one is. Number four, we're back at it with uh, Powell and Pressburger. Number 441, Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger's The Small Back Room. 1949, 107 minutes, black and white, and 133 watch So, Powell and Pressburger, back at it again. Another another fantastic one. And some familiar faces in the form of uh, the David Farr and Kathleen Byron, who remember from Black Narcissus. So I was like, good. That's so cool that they had a lot of um, familiar faces in their movies, too. Um, I, I know, what was her name? Um, Deborah Kerr, I think, was in another, another Powell and Pressburger movie, but I can't think of what it was, if it even exists, you know. Um, but yeah, this is, this is another great Powell and Pressburger. Um, maybe not the greatest, but it is still got the touches. It's still got the feel of a Powell and Pressburger movie. Um, it's basically about this guy, Sammy Rice, who's a bomb disposal expert. And he lives with his girlfriend, who has, is also a secretary, um, Susan. And he works for like the military. <clears throat> and they are like testing some gun called the Reese or something like that, and the military don't like it. And I don't know, it's it's there's certain plots and parts about the plot that were a little hard to understand for me personally, um, and I think that's part of the reason why it's not my favorite Pal and Pressburger film. But there's still a lot of great moments in it. Um, it's basically this guy Rice is an alcoholic and. He lost his, I guess, foot in the war or something. He lost his foot in the war, and so he and so he ended up becoming a civilian or something like that. Um, and he has an artificial foot, and it hurts him a lot. And so, you know, Susan wants him to, you know, take it off. And when she's with him, because she won't judge him, I guess. But he's very, he's very self-conscious about it. And so, you know, and he ends up using, you know drugs or dope, you know, to try and calm his pain, but in, it, in the end it just kind of boils down to alcohol and whiskey, I guess, in the end, too. And so it becomes really hard on Susan, and she ends up leaving him, and he becomes really drunk um, and destroys his apartment, and um, I'm going to leave it at that, probably, because the rest of it's just a lot of suspense. Um, there's a whole subplot about um, these explosive devices that look like uh, thermoses and at one point he has to try and defuse one and I won't tell you the tell you the ending but it's let's just say good stuff so anyway um, I'll leave it at that and again it's it's not a not an absolutely fantastic Powell and Pressburger especially considering they were hot off the heels of Black Narcissus which is one of their greatest movies if not their greatest um, and, you know, they'd had you know, 49th Parallel and the Red Shoes and all these movies. So for them to kind of go back to a black and white, you know, effort with this was a little strange. But at the same time, it, you know, because of their style and what they do with films, it's still a memorable movie because it's Powell and Pressburger. Um, one, of the, one of my personal favorites uh, bits about this movie was seeing Sid James, uh, the British comedian Sid James, as a Nuxie or... Um, I think his name is Nuxy, the bartender, and um, I'm a huge fan of Sid James. I love him in, uh, when he was in Hancock's Half Hour and the Carry On movies. I'm wa currently watching all the Carry On movies in my spare time, and so that's uh, and so you know, getting to see him, you know, probably the youngest I've seen him in 1949. If there is such a thing as a young Sid James, <laughs> um, that was that was great to see him in this. So. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Um, so, Small Back Room, again, a really interesting war film, and with Powell and Pressburger at the helm, you know it's going to be, a, it's got, it's got, going to get you, it's going to get you at certain points. Um, I give it an A. It's a great movie. Um, 
again, not their best. I still think, I still think of all the ones I've seen, I think Black Narcissus just knocks it out of the park. The color in that movie and the suspense and the plot just, just make it amazing. But um, this one is, it's definitely better than Tales of Hoffman. You know, I think, you know, still this is definitely better than Tales of Hoffman and, uh, and maybe Canterbury Tale too. But I don't know. I have to see. I have to actually watch those ones again. It's been a while. So um, yeah, so that's all I got. Small, small room, back room, A, good stuff. Supplements, um, there's an interview, 21 minute interview with uh, Chris Chalet, who was, a, who was the cinematographer who worked with um, Pal and Pressburger on a lot of his movies, as well as another hour long um, compilation of excerpts from Powell's autobiography. Again, that Criterion compiles where they focus on just the uh, small back room. Uh, See so yeah, Good stuff. Small back room, A. Hey. Right, so we're back at it again. Uh, thank you for your patience while I get all busy. Um, we'll try to find some time. But again, we've only got another batch left here before I gotta take another break and let the Eclipser back in. Um, of course, that won't happen for a while because I'm going out of town next week. And so, you know, the Eclipser, and somehow the Eclipser just comes with me on all my trips. I don't know how that works, but, but yeah, the Eclipser will be with me, and so we won't be able to do any reviews until probably, I mean, our last review will be probably Wednesday night, um, this Wednesday night, and so uh, after that, um, yeah, we'll have to figure it out. So, so of course, tomorrow, 24 hours, Monday, La, the, we start the Max Ophelis trilogy with La Ronde, La Place, and uh, the earrings of Madame de, you know, you gotta say it with a lean forward because you don't know how to pronounce the, you know, you don't know where the rest of the name is, so. And then of course somewhere in between there we, we're gonna take a look, quick look at the uh, traffic, I have the traffic, uh, the original traffic release, and um, the original supplements with the uh, Cast of Traffic and the episode of, uh, I guess it's just the interview, I think. I, I think the other one was on the Blu-ray. I don't remember. I'll have to look it up. Anyway. But yeah, we'll do something. We'll take a quick update at the, uh, the things on traffic. So anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Um, don't be, don't drink and have, you know, and have a, your secretary as a girlfriend because it may not end well until you do things with a bomb. So. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow for 24 Eyes. And until then, goodbye.